Tom in Madison, Wisconsin writes to me and he says, Paul, can anyone evaluate the synergy between amplifier, preamplifier, receiver, and loudspeakers by looking at specifications? If no, what does one do in the absence of brick and mortar? You know, we talked about this yesterday, the absence of brick and mortar, the Amazon effect, as I like to call it. And it is definitely a change, for sure, but I think there are good ways to appreciate that change and, and deal with it. So right to the core of your question. Yes and no. For example, there are some basic things in specs that we want to look for. Amplifiers, wattage. Is the wattage of your amplifier compatible with the needs of your loudspeaker? So efficiency of the loudspeaker, we can look at specs. We can tell you, does it go down in frequency well enough? What's its uh, speakers? What are their off-axis response look like? Okay, that's really important, and we've talked about this before, and we should talk about it more. Because if you are looking for a high-end audio system and you want what I like, which is that holographic three-dimensional soundstage where the speakers disappear, things we talk about in the Audiophiles Guide, how to get that. Well, part of that has to do with the off-axis response of speakers. Why? Because if speakers are pointed right at your ears, then you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunity to get that speaker disappearing for a, a reasonably large sweet spot. What you want is the speakers more pointed straight at you, just a little bit of toe in. Now, what that means is the tweeters aren't pointed at your ears anymore. So you're listening off axis. That's what that means. The, if, the, if you're on axis, they're pointed right at your ears. If you're off axis, they're pointed more straight ahead. So we want to look and see how smooth on the specifications are your speakers off axis. That's very important. There's a spec you can look at. Uh, again, does your amplifier have enough power to, uh, you know, to handle those speakers? Does your preamp do all that you need? Is it reasonable in terms of specs? All that is the initial work that you can do to line up your candidates. But can you tell about how synergistic sonically it's going to be? Well, once you get past those basics, no. You can't tell from THD, you can't tell from IM, you can't tell from anything. You have to trust the manufacturer, read the reviews, then take them home and listen to them and audition them. And if you can't do that, don't buy them. It's that simple. If there's a company out there that will not let you take something home, go to another company. I mean, this is the new way. This is the new marketplace. This is what's happening today. So yes, specs can tell you and get you start, get you something, but in the end, you're gonna have to listen and just think about it. When you do listen and you go, holy crap, that sounds amazing. You're in, bingo, done. You don't have to worry now that the dealer told me this is gonna work and I can't get it to work. I can't tell you the stories, the horror stories that have happened you know, in my lifetime of something sounding great at a dealer's and then you take it home and it sounds like crap. Cause you don't have the dealer's room. You don't have the dealer's experience and setup. It's why I wrote the book, The Audiophile's Guide, to help people at home get what dealers know how to do or knew how to do when there were dealers. So it's the best I got. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye.